Yo, what's going on guys, Rexfire, and today we got the Black Ops 2 video. I actually have a pretty crazy ass story to tell. Um, so this actually happened a couple days back. Uh, we were at this place called Pear Jungle Island. Now, if you don't know what Pear Jungle Island is, it's basically a zoo, but it also has this little private beach area in the back, and it has like these water slides and like all these like bounce house stuff on the water. It's pretty cool. So what ended up happening was that I was with my summer camp, and they let us go in the little water play area with all the bouncy stuff or whatever. But for some reason, I guess they thought we were a different camp, or they switched up our times or something, and they actually kicked us out of the water because they had to let the other camp go because it was actually their time to go on it. So they kicked us out of the water and our camp was actually pretty upset so what the lifeguards did was that they allowed our campers to play in the other little area where it's pretty much just the beach it's just a little beach area and they were just playing in the water as if they were at a beach however the lifeguards are fucking idiots so the lifeguards actually made the little kids take off their jackets just so that they can have jackets for the other camp and i mean if you're gonna have them take off their jackets then you shouldn't be letting them play in the water without any life jackets so um so they're just playing in the water having some fun time and one of my friends named John who's only seven years old he's a decent swimmer but he's not the best and as I said they have these little inflatable things so there's actually this inflatable white thing that you can actually climb up it's pretty high up though it's pretty high and it's pretty far out into the water and he actually tried to swim to that and as he was swimming to that the water gets really deep it's like the fucking drop off at Nemo yeah you know that shit that shit goes like this and then it just it drops off right so it's a pretty deep drop and John actually starts going up and down he was drowning however he wasn't drowning like any normal seven-year-old would be drowning he wasn't going crazy he was relatively calm so that's why when one of the counselors noticed that he was going up and down she actually told one of the lifeguards hey that boy looks like he's drowning and the lifeguard ignored her saying no he's fine like, who the fuck says that he's fine? That's ridiculous, right? So finally, after a couple more seconds of him fucking drowning in the water, uh, another lifeguard actually jumps in and saves him. And by the time they bring him to the shore, he was unconscious, his heart wasn't beating, he had no pulse, and everyone started flipping out. He had foam coming out of his mouth. He wasn't breathing, he wasn't talking, his eyes were closed. He looked like he was dead. So I'm screaming for all the kids to get back in. My friend's over there trying to call 911, but she couldn't even talk to the 911 lady because she was still going crazy. She was stuttering. So I actually had to take the phone from her and talk to the 911 operator. And I had to tell her, you know, where we were, what happened, he drowned. And then they start asking you all these questions. And I really didn't like all those fucking questions. Like fucking get some people over here, worry about the questions later. But I guess it's part of their job to ask. So basically I'm screaming at all the kids to get back. I see news helicopters come up before the ambulance even shows up, which is kind of crazy in my opinion, but to be fair, the ambulance actually did get here pretty fast, but he was out for a long, long time. Before the ambulance got here, it had to be a good five minutes that he was out, and usually after like two or three minutes, they're usually done, and he was out for five minutes. Um, they couldn't they couldn't get him to open his eyes, they couldn't get a post, they couldn't get him to breathe, so in my opinion, I was like, shit, this kid is dead this kid just died right in front of me and it was honestly the scariest thing I've ever seen I thought he was completely dead but um after about five minutes they actually got him to open his eyes but he still wasn't breathing however they kept going and thankfully one of the lifeguards that was actually there he was actually a paramedic so he actually knew exactly what to do and somehow he actually got him breathing he was able to sit up by himself which is a very good sign he was talking he was alert he appeared to have no brain damage and the ambulance got here and they took him to the hospital and as it turns out, he was completely fine. They actually took him to the hospital in stable condition, which is actually good. And I guess at the end of the day, it was probably the scariest thing I've ever encountered. That was also the first time I ever had to call 911, and he turned out okay, and that's always what matters.